Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken To be cool, even wear that shirt you wanted to. My friends think I'm lame. Since I met you, I am not the same. It was not meant to be a fairy tale with a happy end. Girl, you take care now. I hope we can be friends. I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them Someone might be interested to know um, what I've used on my skin or what I normally use on my skin. Let's see from um, Raroche Posi Company. I don't know if I'm saying the name right. And then I use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from uh, Royal Paris. This is my morning skincare routine. And of course, I use the the sunscreen from the same company and um, I've always been uh, searching for a sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast on the skin and uh, I found the perfect sunscreen this is so good and um, this does the job perfectly and for my lips I think I've mentioned this so many times I use MAC Ruby Wool by the way this is a sunscreen that i've been using for quite some time and the problem with this sunscreen is that it leaves a white cast on your skin and it can be super super annoying so that's why i switched to this sunscreen from the same company but this is far much better if you ask me and for the night that is my morning skincare routine and i keep switching my skincare routine products actually for the night, I use this um, retina oil serum from um, from Real Paris as well. But I don't use this every day because it can be very drying to the skin. So I use probably once or twice or thrice a week. And so far, I'm loving my skin. It's getting much better. Like I said earlier, my skin is I have a sensitive skin. My skin has always been problematic. But for now, I feel like I'm able to manage the breakouts, I'm able to manage the blackheads because like now, I don't have any makeup on and I think it's not looking so bad. Anyway, so let's get, let's head out and so that we can discuss this topic of um, toxic work environment because for the last couple of um, months, this is what i've been dealing with and like i said i'm just going to be sharing um my real self on this channel my authentic self on this channel i don't want to um 
I want to create a community based on um, authenticity, real life, you know. I just don't want to come here and fake it and say, oh, show the things that are not there. If I'm not okay, if I want to record the video, I'll still do that. And today, we're going to have a conversation in regards to toxic work environment because I know this happens a lot and most of you, I know you can all relate to this. Because that is what I'm dealing with currently in my life, so I might as well discuss this topic. So anyway, let's go. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the was broken how could they say you made me come undone now i know that it's okay unlike my friends you are nothing like them oh. how could they say i was broken how could they say you made me come undone now i know that it's okay unlike my friends you are nothing like them To be cool, even wear that shirt you wanted to. My friends think I'm lame. Since I met you, I am not the same. It was not meant to. Oh my god, it's long time since I sat on this desk and did a sit-down video. And I don't know whether you people you like my sit-down videos. I really don't know. And uh, you know, sometimes you have um, to ask yourself whether are you doing, are you saying the right things? You know, are you are you sharing? Um, are you adding value to people's lives when you're sharing your your voice or your content on YouTube? And uh, <clears throat> I don't know whether you people you like my sit down videos. Please comment down below and let me know. And um, I didn't even introduce myself. Just in case there's someone who is new here, my name is Masi. I was born and brought up in Kenya, but I live in Western Australia. And that said, I think my battery is dying. I need to charge my other battery. So I'll be back in a second. Don't go away, okay? So I'm back. And uh, I hope you guys are still watching the video. So. Like I was saying, my name is Masi. Um, I was born and brought up in Kenya, but I live in Western Australia. I have been living in Australia for the last, Western Australia actually, for the last um, five years. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's five years now. Is it five years? No, it's going to be five years in, we are in October now. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be five years in a couple of days because i came here on um 8th of october 2016. <sighs> and um stella and i are, go are, are gonna do a video on her channel i'm not really sure whether i'm gonna do that on my channel and i can do as well the last five years we've been here in australia what have we learned and uh if you want to watch that video i'm gonna leave a link in the description box below so make sure you watch that video because there's so much to learn there's so much growth there's so much that has happened to me as a person you know there's um advantages the disadvantages we are going to leave all that there in stella's channel and i'm gonna leave a link on her video on the description box below i hope by the time this video is going live her video will be live as well anyway so like i was saying today um i want us i want us to have a, a very honest conversation on um toxic work environment because uh like i said for the last couple of months i've dealt with um 
toxic work environments in a very big way i've had to experience the worst the worst toxic energy ever in a working environment and um I'm not gonna lie, I've ever experienced a toxic work environment in other places actually, even when I was in Kenya. But um, now that uh, I'm more, more aware of who I am, I get to suck in into the energy very quickly, the negative energy. And uh, that's the reason I'm doing this video. And I hope you guys are gonna like this video. If you do, don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, subscribe to this channel, you know what it does help with the growth of this channel and before i forget don't forget to follow me on instagram i do fashion videos beauty and all that good stuff on instagram and i'm gonna leave a link on the description box below and um i hope you're gonna enjoy my content on instagram as well this is my way of um making myself feel better this is therapy to me I'm just speaking to the camera and speaking my mind out. Oh, there's no one here actually, you know, if you think about it. But of course, sometimes when I think someone else is watching this video, I get to get uh, closed up or um, I feel like I shouldn't share. But then again, I tell myself, you know what? This is my camera. I'm all by myself in the house. No one is judging me. No one is listening to me. And I can speak my mind, you know. So long as I'm, I'm not hurting anyone. I'm just sharing. Um, not really sharing information. But I just want us to have a conversation. So this is my way of um, healing. Let me just say that. This is a way of feeling better. This is a way of letting go of the toxic energy. So anyway, back to the story. Um, toxic work environment have you ever worked in um in an environment where you feel extremely physically drained emotionally psychologically mentally you know you feel dehydrated you feel your energy getting sucked out of you you feel depleted you feel defeated you start doubting yourself you start doubting your skills you start doubting what you know you know you start doubting yourself as a person and um by the time you come to realize that um, what is happening to you you are in a toxic working environment you know probably the damage is too late the damage has already been done and that is exactly what happened to me and uh, i don't know i feel like uh, i should just record this video on my camera and document because I know I'm going to look back into this video at some point in life and um, I'll be happy that I went through that or I'll be happy that I overcame this. Because I tell you this, um, what is happening to me right now, like I said on my video, I kind of relating whatever is happening around me to that experience, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, the feeling of doubting myself, you know, feeling like I'm not good enough. <laughs> I don't even know whether I should share this because I don't know this is me feeling this is me opening myself open wide open and recording this video but anyway so for the last couple of months I was working in this environment where it was so toxic it was really so toxic and uh, you know you find yourself in a situation where People, most people they especially at the beginning they don't want to work with you or some people let me just say some people they don't want to work with you some people um, you work in an environment where bullying and intimidation is the order of the day and if you try to talk about it or if you're trying to voice it you're kind of made to feel like um, you probably have a problem because I don't think what you experience is bullying you know what I mean because I don't feel think what you experience is intimidation where you feel like um, you work in an environment where the people they group each other let's assume you're supposed to work five of you um, they group each other two two and then you're left in the middle and they won't tell you what you're supposed to do mm -hmm. yeah and at the same time 
those people could be from the same community or probably not from the same community. So you're left in the middle and uh, you start as asking yourself, um, what are you supposed to do? And when you try like um, to talk to them or to get close to them or to work with them or whatever, uh, you can see clearly on their face they don't want to work with you. You know what I mean? This has happened to so many people and I know you guys can relate with, with me as well. And um, you kind of feel like an outcast. You feel like an outcast. You feel like, uh, why are you here? You're not supposed to be here. So, um, like I would say, that I had an experience one time where, after being there for quite some time actually, and uh, we were supposed to work, um, is it five people? I think five, five of us. And, um, it's very sad that um, my co-workers, they grouped themselves into two when they left me on the middle, which I really don't mind because I'm a very uh, self-sufficient person. And um, most of the times I'll know what to do because like I said, um, this job is not new to me. I pretty much have the skills, the experience and all the other things that is needed to do such kind of job. But then again, at some point you're supposed to work as partners and your partner has clearly shown you, I don't want to work with you, I want to work with the other person and guess what? They are from, all of them are from the same community. And the whole of that time they are all speaking in their language so you are not understanding what they're saying. And um, the probably the only time they want to talk to you is you know they're trying to be nice to you or just to see whether are you understanding what is happening there we don't want to work with you you know what i mean and um it kind of got me thinking i don't know i don't know why some co-workers they feel like um they are so important to um to a company or they are irreplaceable or they feel like the company is owned by their parents or yeah, whatever and they're supposed to, to treat other co-workers as piece of shit you know what i mean and um anyway that is just one experience i've shared that happened to me and um i know someone is gonna ask oh you should have reported it you know I didn't report and I didn't want to report because uh, I felt like I was going to be victimized being the minority in that environment and uh, because I knew I was not going to be there for long so I thought I probably should just suck it up and and then at the end of the day leave. Have you ever worked in an environment where you scared on you scared waking up the following day? to work you are scared on who you're gonna work with especially if you do shift to work you don't have like permanent um, co-workers that you work with so even in the middle of night you wake up to ask yourself oh my god I hope I'm not gonna work with so and so oh my god I hope I don't work with who and who because you know you're gonna have a terrible terrible day that is what was happening to me and probably other people and I know most likely it has happened to you who is watching me. So, and uh, I don't know why the toxic work environment has been normalized nowadays. And every time you try to, to talk or maybe to say, I don't think this is right, it will make you feel like uh, you're the problem. You are the problem. Hmm? Because this is normal. If you say we are bullying you or people are bullying you, that this is how we talk. You know, this is how people talk. This is how we talk. If you say, if you feel like you're bullying, how do you want me to talk to you? Because this is how I talk. You know that some people have that mentality. And you know what? And uh, some people, they will say, probably the shit. People, some people are too sensitive. Everything they think is bullying and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> That's toxic. And like I said, uh, people will openly speak in their language. And uh, when other people are there and they know very well those people, they cannot understand what they're saying. That makes them feel so bad. And uh, I don't know why people do that. And um, I probably have ever done that as well, maybe with my fellow Kenyans, started speaking Swahili and all that kind of stuff. And uh, after going through this experience, I think, 
I'm not gonna be speaking so heavy at my workplace. I'm telling you, cause the feeling is just terrible, terrible, terrible. That thing, that small thing you think is small, speaking in your own language can be so detrimental to other people. Cause you don't know where people are coming from. You don't know what people are going through. Someone will think you're talking about them, you know? Because again, if you're not talking about them, why can't you just use the common language that everyone can understand? It's not like they won't understand your stories or whatever you're talking about. But then again, and to make the matters worse, sometimes they would switch into English or their language when they see, depending on what kind of stories they're talking about. It's, it's so unhealthy. It's so, so, so toxic. And uh, I've had to check myself also. You know, like I'm gonna be very sensitive going forward. Probably I haven't. I'm gonna be very sensitive going forward when I meet my fellow Kenyans or people who can understand my language and maybe you're speaking our language. And some people are there. Some other people are there who cannot understand. It's just so rude. People, they're just out there to snatch a new. You know those people with mentality, they're just witch hunting. They're looking for trouble so that they can have stories to talk about with them with other people and they can have something to report to their bosses <laughs> it's it baffles me like people stoop that low because to be honest i don't think they uh, they ever get uh, a pay rise i don't think they pay rise for that for snitching or for witch hunting i really don't think so or probably there is i could be wrong you know i don't know but I don't know why the people find the reason to reach out or just look for information and they can go and report to their bosses. Maybe it makes them feel better or it makes them sleep better at night. So anyway, another thing is when people give you a silent tre treatment in, at work, they don't want to talk to you. You're working with them. You're probably supposed even to share some duties or whatever, but they won't talk to you. The whole shift. They won't even say a word. You're gonna try to speak to them, but they're like, they won't say anything. They're just gonna give you that attitude. I don't wanna talk to you. <laughs> and you're working with them. You know what I mean? Cause like, excuse me, I don't want us to be friends. I don't want us to have talk personal stuff or whatever. I just want us to be cordial so that we can work together, you know? So that we can, you know, we can be effective when we're performing these duties. But now, they won't and if they will need your help they would rather walk five minutes or ten minutes and ask other people to ask and ask other people to help them instead of you and you're supposed to work the two of you can you imagine people do that to be honest i don't know maybe that makes them feel better or it makes them feel uh, but to be honest let me not even be, be sarcastic to be honest i kind of feel sad for such people because how do you wake up every day to go to work and um, now 50% of the people you work with you, you not even 50% I don't know that just, that's just an assumption you don't want to talk to them like you don't talk to them you'd rather work by yourself you know you can as well open a company and work by yourself because clearly you don't want to work with people so anyway and let, let me tell you, you know what? This is normal to people. Like if someone is gonna give you a silent treatment, they don't wanna work with you, they won't ask for help, even when you ask them to help you, they'll just help you in that with that um, attitude of we shouldn't be talking to each other. And this this has been made normal in this kind of environment. Even if you um, like other people, the managers or whatever they think this is normal like it is no they don't see a problem with that like it's okay you kind of feel so sad for people working in such an environment because it's so terrible it's toxic why do people feel so important this is not your father's company this is not your husband's company this is not your company we are all employees from the managers the ceo to all the other the junior care staffs we are all employed in that company, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, so that is the environment I was working in for the last couple of months. And if I tell you, sometimes, most of the times I would finish off my shift, 
get out of the office and I would feel like I need a strong drink. I need a drink, you know, I need a shot. I need one or two shots. I actually don't do shots. At that time, that is what I was feeling. I need a drink. I would craving. I would be craving for a drink because my energy, I was just feeling so, so terrible. <sighs> By the time I was finishing my duties, or I was finishing, um, by the time I was finished up, um, I don't even know what I'm saying to be honest. But by the time my time was done in that environment, when I did my last shift, I clocked out. Oh my God. I went to my house. I went to my room and I think I cried. Oh my goodness. I am done. Like, I am so done. Am I done? I couldn't believe it. I was so, so happy so happy so so happy and uh, I think that's why I keep saying I'm really so happy to be back home because nobody can bully me in my apartment and by the way don't get me wrong I consider myself to be a very strong person that's what I thought and uh, this all this has led me to wanting to work on myself wanting to be a better person actually wanting to do better one wanting to be a good co-worker as a good friend you know a good sister a good older I, just being a good human being because i don't want to go um back to work with the same negative energy uh you know with the same toxic energy you know i just want to go to work feeling whole so that i can give my services as a whole you know what i mean and uh, that is what I'm doing currently, to be honest, recharging, R reading a lot of um, books, uh, listening to podcasts and all that kind of stuff because my energy levels are probably 1%. And, uh, but I won't lie, I feel so good now, even after doing this video, after speaking out, like I said, this is my way of healing, this is therapeutic to me and this is how I choose to heal. <laughs> So thank you so much guys for watching and uh, I really do appreciate your support and uh, can, you, can we all try to do better, try to be better human beings starting with me because that is what I'm working on at the moment, at this point in my life. I want to be a better person, I want to be um, a good employee, I want to be a good friend, I want to be a good sister, I know, a good child of my parents and um, I want to be a good partner so can we all do better please and because um, like I said I'm also working on myself because I, I don't want to be a toxic energy to my co-workers because you know sometimes we might be oblivious maybe we are the toxic people in other people's lives so I'm trying as much as possible to remove all the to toxicity in me because I don't want to make other people feel that way. So anyway, I don't want to. I, I don't want other people to feel anxious every time they see me. Because <laughs> probably I'm not a good person, or probably I'm not. Um, they don't feel comfortable working with me, or they don't feel comfortable around me. So I am trying to be a good person as well, and I'm trying to be as kind as possible to people. You know. And I'm also I'm trying to understand other human beings and to accept them for who they are and uh, not, not to take things personally because um, I also don't want to be getting triggered all the time. I just want to understand human. No, no, not really. I just want to understand and accept them for who they are. Yeah, so anyway. Sorry guys, this video has been all over the place, but I hope I've addressed all the points and I've shared my experience and uh, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because right now I want to edit some Instagram videos I did yesterday and I know you guys out who do want to see those videos, they're going to be on my Instagram page probably next week because today is Saturday so maybe on Monday or tomorrow on Sunday thank you so much and uh, I'll catch you up later thank you see ya